Hello Pisceans, this is Dr. Avni Rajadeksha. I am the founder of Healing Institute, Infinite Healing. And I am wishing you all a very, very, very happy new year. So let's start the reading. You know, surprise, this reading is for the whole year. This time I decided, let me do a reading for a whole year for you all. Alright, so I thought I will pick up 12 cards for a whole year for that matter and let's see what we could do with that hmm. lovely so this is like a trailer of each and every month and let's see what each and every month has to tell you so it's the major event of the month it i i don't mean the whole month this is what will happen for you. My God, Pisces, January, I think you're still holidaying. <laughs> January shows an international card, some foreign tour or some foreign connection, some foreign boa coming or uh, you getting a job in some international company, some foreign connection shows in January for you all Pisces. Lovely. Uh, still in February, I, I, I think because it's Valentine month, you'll be in search of love, but that will be a lot of desperacy. That's something that you need not do. Love will come by your way. Don't you worry about that. And the next month is the best. That's the March. This is one of the best cards. Is a genie card. You know, you can ask the genie and he says, Jo hukum mere aka. It's a genie card. Whatever you want, you will get. Rather, you will be able to manifest. You just tell the universe because the universe says, ask and it's given. So you have to ask. Be very specific when you ask because what order you have asked for, you will get that. As simple as that. Wow, March. Meet me in March and comment down uh, in the comment box. All right. April. Someone from your past will come back. I mean, from this life. <laughs> Someone you've known in the past, school friend, college friend, some acquaintance, whatever. They'll come in your life and that will be for good, okay? A uh, nice friendship, a good long-term relationship. And again, there is a lover's card. So, you might meet someone whom you will you know, spend your life with as a long-term relationship if you choose to be lovers. But that card has come for June. So, now we are in April. In uh, also in May, it's a good card of blessings. You'll get a lot of angel blessings. You'll have an amazing time actually from March, wow, till July. Amazing time, like a cream of the year. You will remember this year because there's spirituality, there's blessings, there's money, there's love. And there's manifestation, lovely. But ask and it's given up. Huh? I'm, I'm telling you. Again, the lovers, I have told you, comes in the June reading. So you'll definitely meet someone who would definitely affect your love life in long term. And the clue I've given, someone from your past life. All right. Go for your school reunion, <laughs> college reunion. <laughs> All right. I was just a. Uh, and then again, July card is also very good where you really feel very secure with your family, with your love life, with overall money and everything. It's a very nice card. August, there might be some bad news relating to your near and dear ones. Health or maybe maybe a death. Um, it's okay. That's the game of life. What to do? Um, September, again, you will be in search of something new in life and but in the right way and especially answers to your questions your life especially that is what i've been showing all right um then i see a little break period in october there might be a very lull period or a very you know career wise is what i'm speaking not a, uh, money will be there but Still work-wise, a little lull period in October. November and December is again good. In November, you will get help from a spiritual person. Or you will maybe meet a guru or maybe your guruji will help you. Or maybe your angels or 
especially um, from a feminine energy. This is what I'm saying. All right. This whole year, there is feminine energy in each and every zodiac sign. Right. Amazing. And December, you get a new money source. Your finances improve. Wow. What a reading, Pisces. So, it, what I remember, Sagittarians and Pisces have the best reading in this zodiac sign. That's what I uh, in this year. Uh, that's what I remember. I hope it really helped you. And you please share these videos with your uh, zodiac buddies and other videos are also there. If you know someone's birthday, please share that video to them. Have an amazing year, Pisces, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.